This is Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. Right now, we're joined with running back coach Jordan McNeil. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing well, thank you. You played four years at East Test, excuse me, East Texas Baptist. How has your playing career helped you coach? It's a great question. Um, I think just you know recognizing how much it takes um, as a player to you know to be successful. And then knowing how much it takes as a coach to be successful, um, and the work work ethic it really takes on uh, on both sides, um, and being able to try to work to pull that out of my guys, which is what Coach Walden worked to pull that out of me, and a lot of my teammates at East Texas Baptist. I think that is really transferred into my coaching career, and uh, on the recruiting aspect, on the really the development aspect, um, just making sure. One, those guys, you know, they trust me because I can't communicate with them if they don't trust me. And then getting getting the most out of them, I think, is the biggest biggest thing. Now, you played for Coach Walden for four years at ETBU. How has your relationship, how has the dynamic of your relationship changed now that you work with him? Uh, not, not really a lot at all. I mean, he's still kind of been the same <laughs> in a way. He's my boss, though, for sure. But to me, to me, he's always been my boss, you know, even when he's our offensive coordinator and I was playing for him. So, you know, he still calls the shots. It's just in a different way. He, he can still get on me as, like he needs to when I was a player and, and as a coach as well, just holding me accountable. Like good players, good coaches want to be held accountable. They want to be coached tough. All right. And they want to be coached in great detail um, so they can be the best they can be. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing that he has done in my life and that I want to do, you know, and the guys, wherever I'm at, you know, I'm in charge of, I want to do in their life as well. All right. So thinking of your younger self, what was your dream job at 10 years old? Ooh, that's a great question. I have a pic, my mom has a picture and I wanted to be a firefighter. All right. Yeah, that is kind of crazy because I, I don't really like fire. But uh, that was one of my dream jobs. Don't know, really know why. I think I'd be a pretty good firefighter, though. Then coach was not really one of them. And, uh, you know, I kind of grew into that. And, you know, God called me to that. So what do you enjoy doing outside of football? I enjoy uh, fishing, hunting, um, you know, really working out. Just kind of staying active, being outside, you know, in some ways you're outside a lot with football, but then, you know, you're in the office as well. So, you know, anything outside, I, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm from the city, but, you know, I, I like a lot of the country stuff. I like to, you know, rip some lips and, um, you know, it knocked me a good nine pointer down if I can. So, um, you know, I like some outdoor stuff. So my, you know, my grandpa was huge. Um, and just having us outside, my dad was the same way, you know, he was big on outdoors and having us do something other than football, because if your life just becomes consumed with football, you know, you really don't grow outside of that. Now, this week is a bye week for you guys. How do you plan to keep the guys motivated and focused when there's no game on Sunday? Yeah. Well, Bree, around, around here, we, we don't believe in bye weeks. We, we believe in opportunity weeks. So this is an opportunity to get better right here. It's an opportunity for us to get better academically, spiritually, socially, and athletically. And so we're going to utilize every bit of it to get better in those facets. Um, you know, we're going to identify the areas, uh, you know, on our red flash offense, our black rain defense, and our we fence. Uh, you know, we're going to look at those units and, and find out what do we have to get better at in order to, uh, you know, go compete for a championship. And, and I think that, um, you know, we're going to look at those things. We're going to uh, evaluate the film and do some self-scout things. And then we're going to go address those things at practice. Now, with this being the opportunity week, what do you and your family plan to do to kind of, you know, give yourself a little break from football if you are planning on taking just a little break? That's a great question. Uh, so, I, I mean, I told the staff, you know, like today, uh, I want them out of the office by five. And then when we get done with practice this week, I want those guys going home. So I want them hanging out with their families. And I plan on doing that too. You know, we, you know, we, we've gotten here, Breeden has been a whirlwind. So, I don't know, me and the wife and, and, and the little guy might go explore Nashville a little bit or something. I don't know. We got to stay safe and, uh, you know, and make sure we're masked up. But we might drive around at least and try to go explore some areas because, heck, we, we ain't even got a chance to get out very much. So, uh, you know, if we get a chance to do that, that'd be pretty cool. Well, thank you, Coach, and congratulations. We'll be here next week. I appreciate it, Bree. Thanks a lot. Let's go, P.
This has been Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering.